Hello everybody, thanks for clicking on this video. It's summertime here in Brussels, Belgium, which means that my indoor aroid forest is looking its very best. And hiding in this forest is a giant philodendron that I would like to discuss today in part 25 of my ongoing series about unpopular philodendrons. Philodendrons that deserve a little bit more love and attention, in my opinion. And he is a shy giant, so you might not be able to spot him, but I'm talking about a philodendron maximum equa genera. So let's have a closer look together. So let's approach him gently so he won't be startled. He's right here, but let me take him out of the forest so you can see him a little bit better. So here he is, the Philodendron Maximum Equa Genera. And the first thing I gotta say is that if you want to keep this plant indoors, you will need a lot of space, since it takes up at least one square meter, because of the insanely long stems that this guy produces. Now, let me first show you a picture of this plant when it arrived at my place more or less one year ago from Equa Genera. It came with five leaves and one year later it has nine. Now, back then I paid $76 for this plant, which is quite expensive, but I just checked the Equa Genera website and they offer this species currently way cheaper. You can buy one now for more or less $45, but then again, the pictures on their website show specimens with only two leaves, so that might explain the price drop. Now, just have a look at this brand new leaf that's currently unfurling. It has a stunning bronze and brown color that contrasts beautifully with a light green vein in the middle of the new leaf. I also noticed that this philodendron actually needs more space horizontally than vertically, since the space between the leaf stems stays quite compact in my experience, as you can see here. So this philodendron species is native to countries like Bolivia, Ecuador, Brazil, Colombia and Peru. It was first described over a hundred years ago already, and it's known as one of the world's largest philodendrons. And in the wild, it grows in the leaf base of palm trees. Now, it's definitely a climber, but as I said before, it doesn't necessarily become very tall, but it mainly grows horizontally. I also think that this Equagenera subspecies has more elongated leaves and more pointy ears on top of the leaves compared to the regular Philodendron Maximum. And as you can see here, the leaf veins are so thick that they also stand out from the back of the leaves. Now, in my experience, huge philodendrons like this one here enjoy a shower from time to time. It cleans off the dust and other dirt, not only from the leaves, but also from these very long stems. And they get a drink at the same time. And by the way, I do apologize for the somewhat shaky footage here, but I had to make sure that my iPad that I use for filming didn't also get showered in the process. To me, and overall, this is quite an easygoing philodendron to take care of. It's happy with medium light, even just artificial light, and I let it dry out completely before I give it another drink. So in a way, it's a philodendron that's pretty hard to kill unless you overwater it. Now, I haven't had the heart to propagate this guy just yet. I'm actually waiting for a couple more leaves before I might consider doing that. But I'm pretty confident that you can easily propagate them by taking a cutting of a leaf together with some aerial roots, like is the case with most philodendrons. Okay, so that's all I wanted to share with you today about this gentle giant. If you liked the video, please consider liking it and or subscribing to my channel. I got many more unpopular philodendrons to show you in the future. For now, I thank you again for watching and I hope to see you again soon on my channel. Bye bye.